Okay. Number one. Here. This is number one. You're trying to guess whose brand this is. Oh, quiet. Okay, don't talk. This is number one. One of your classmates. This is their brand. Oh, I know it. That's number one. Number two. This is number two. Oh, I know. Number two. Number three. Number three. Number four. Are these in this class? Number four. Yeah, because it's 19. This is number four. Number five. This is number five. Number six. This is number six. Number seven. Oh, okay, that's why. This is number seven. Number eight. <clears throat> Number nine. This is number nine. Number ten. This is number ten.
number 11. <coughs> this is number 11. Number 12. This is number 12. Number 13. I didn't plan this either. This is number 13. Number 14. Number 15. Number sixteen. Number sixteen. Seventeen. Number seventeen. This is number 18. Ready? One. Maddie. Give yourself a plus if you did Maddie. Two. Lewis.
three. Joey. Four. Chase. Five, Lily. Six, Andrew. Seven, Ben. Eight, Allison. Nine, Greta. Ten, Ewan. We should probably be asking these people the ones that weren't obvious ones. We'll come back to you and ask you. That was 10? 11. Ryder. 12. Mikey. 13. Bella. 14. Avery. 15. Clara. 16, Gianna. 17, Emily. 18, Grayson. 19, Christian. Who got a 19? Huh? Lucy, were you on there? Oh, I yeah, oh no, no, I didn't. No. Who got an 18? It was two. So yeah. four people got 18, we have to have a tiebreaker. Five. Here's the tiebreaker. We gotta go to these ones. And you have to have the explanation. Okay. Okay. So why is this Joey's? Oh People that tied for 18, you gotta come up with a reason. Because like What's your reason, <laughs> Math. Math? Yeah. What's your reason? Um, he likes different colors in the black. <laughs> I don't know. What's your reason? He likes triangles. What's your reason? His favorite shape is the triangle. Mm -hmm. What's the reason, Joey? It's super confusing. Mm -hmm. And you're super confusing? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay, I don't think or that's their you didn't understand the assignment. What? Or you didn't understand the assignment. I, I was doing it online, and I never saw an initial three. It wasn't supposed to be an initial. It was so supposed, I was right. It okay. was supposed to be something that what? Represented, Represented you. 
I'm in colors too. Okay, that means I got it right. <laughs> no, he's saying he didn't know that, so nobody gets that one right. Yay. You can't do it if you heard him say it. No, I didn't. No, I, I wanted the photo of the picture that he, um, hold on. Oh, yeah, that he, like, survived a tornado or something. Like, right? Yeah, okay. I can't tell it. Um, he hiked a mountain. <laughs> um, that's what I got. That's all you got? Okay. You got 18, Joey? <laughs> yeah. You made you got 18 right? Okay. Um, he survived a tornado, hiked a mountain, favorite subject is signs, and he likes the toys. That's what it looks like. Mm. Uh, uh, so he survived a tornado, uh, hiked up the mountain, went camping, and uh, likes the Twin Cities baseball team. Um, yeah, he's in the Boy Scouts, maybe. He survived a tornado, and, um, yeah, he hiked up his mountain, and he likes the toys. Who's right? Me. Uh, Lucy. Yes. <laughs> oh, Lord, that's iffy. <laughs> so Lucy wins. Let's see these other ones that didn't have. Okay, here's this one. Oh, hi. I know. That's Ooh. Greta. Ooh, me. Can I say my explanation? Because Greta, her name in some sort of language means pearl. I forget which language it is. What language? Google language. Google language? <laughs> yeah. Really? I thought this is what my interpretation was. See, it takes many years to make this perfect pearl. But all that and you're, you're going to become perfected. <laughs> and Christ will be perfect. Oh. I did not get that. <laughs> I didn't get that. He likes cheese. He, he likes, likes cheese. cheese. He likes cheese. Well, duh. No, he doesn't like cheese. <laughs> yeah, he likes yeah, yeah. cheese. Swiss Holy cheese? Job. You like Swiss no, cheese? I love cheese. Any cheese. Any cheese. Any cheese. That's just, that's just what's It's kind of cheesy is. if you ask me. That's her number in soccer. Number 13. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. No, she really likes camping. And no, 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 no. Yeah. No, no, I know the same reason. She's um, allergic to grass and trees. What? I do. You what? How can oh, you be oh, allergic to grass? Certain tree, evergreen trees or what? Every tree? So you can't climb trees, you start He's done it, he doesn't care. Is it just like seasonal? You break out or you just get a runny nose? I just did. Me? Okay. Uh, first, you have to run away, and second, because she swims. First, you have to what? You have it the wrong way. It's supposed to be like really, her this. name's like this, so I assume it's like that. Emily. No, upside. Oh, like, okay, there, there. There you go. Oh, yeah. See, then you should put your name on the back so I would know. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's a swimmer. And she has no, a same necklace. And she has the same necklace like that. Oh, yeah. Riptide. She swims for Riptide. See, I got it. Oh, that's a G on it. Yeah. I thought the C stood for cow. So you labeled your cow, this is my cow. I need a person that would like some bonus points or some honor slips to put these up in the hallway with my cowboy like we did last year. Okay? Which means you'll have to stay in a recess at least one day, maybe two. Okay? So... I'll draw you out if you are that person and you want to.
Mikey? Sure. Yes. So we'll have two people. Uh, you would? Okay. So at recess, you can start today. Come into my room, I'll give you the cowboy. I'll show you where I want you to put it. And then you'll tape these all up on the wall outside somewhere. We'll find a spot. Maybe in between the seventh grade and the water fountain. Isn't there a wall right there? Yeah. I think it's that's covered with that's old. Yes, oh. But it's yeah. right there. No really? Shot. On that side? Oh, wait, no. Let's see if I got my cowboy here. Okay, take out your other notebook. Or on the back of the sheet, you put you can number from 1 to 15 and write the president. And I'll tell you the bonus for the president. I forgot. I've, I've been forgetting to give you bonuses. So here's your bonus. Who was the shortest and lightest president? Okay, you can, and if you, the second part is if you can name his height, you can get a bonus for that. And if you can name his weight, you get a bonus for that. So you got three, three chances, three bonuses. It's one of those 15, yes. And distance learners, I apologize, I don't know how to hit pause on this. So you know you're doing your president's quiz on Flipgrid, where you're closing your eyes and reciting the president's for me. And then we're going to review for the uh, West test after this.
guys aren't even guessing on the bonuses. back of that one. One more minute. Supposed to be on the back. That way, I know that helps prevent cheating. So I don't want it if you do it on the back. Everybody else should have your reviews out. Now nobody came and asked me a question, and there were probably a couple you couldn't, you wouldn't know because we didn't get a chance to go over them. But nobody came and talked to me. What was the bonus? I can't tell the bonus because the oh. distance learners. Oh. Can you write it on the board over there so they can huh? see it? Can you write it on the board? I'll tell you when I pass it back. Oh. Okay. Advent's all about what? Waiting. Waiting, right? Are we going to do it now? Yeah.
So tested means a save. A S S A Y E D. I would accept a say. Two, a combine. Three, a ghost town. Four, a load. Five is a long drive. A cattle drive. Six is long horn. Seven is over grazing. Is it okay if I put graze? Like graze? Is it okay if you think grazing? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Over grazing. Oh, there. Because if they're grazing, that's that's okay. Over grazing is a bad thing. Oh, okay. What happens if they over graze? They get fat. The grass goes away. The grass goes away. The grass dies. This is why sheep ranchers and cattle ranchers had problems. Mm -hmm. Because when sheep eat grass, they eat it down to the roots. So if you leave sheep at all very long, you'll have no pasture. That's why sheep ranchers, that's why shepherds do what? They're always doing what? Moving. They're moving from one place to another. Because if they stayed in one place, they'd eliminate all the grass for them. Number eight is a prospector or a miner. Number nine is a range. And I still can't believe some people don't know that song. Would you lie to me? You never heard Home Home on the Range? Guys are leading a sheltered life. No, I heard it. I heard it. Number ten is Range Wars. Yay! You're welcome. I got that one on my own. What is the major fighting over on the range? <laughs> they're really not fighting over the land. You know what they're fighting over? No. The, cattle. the cattle drives water. Access to water. Oh. So it's really about the water. Number 11 is the reaper. Yay. Number 12 is a reservation. Yay. Number 13 is a roundup. Mm. Number 14 is a bonus. Anybody get it? Since you're so citified, I, I didn't know. Uh, although it's probably pretty easy to look that up on Google. Probably just type that in and just spits out the answer. A silo or a silo. A silo. Number 15 is a sod buster. Number 16 is a thresher. And number 17 I gave you, that's vigilante. On the flip side, number one, the one word is inconsistent. Inconsistent. If you remember the video I did while I was quarantining, that was in the video. It's also in the notes I told you to look at. Number two is a subsidy. Number three is a buffalo. 
Bison and buffalo are the same. Number four is a trunk line. Number five is a reservation. Number six is the Battle of the Little Bighorn. Number seven is Wounded Knee. Number eight is a feeder line. Number nine is the railroad. But I'm not going to take that off because we forget we didn't get a chance to talk about it. I got it ready. Number 10, you need Union Pacific that started in Omaha and the Irish were the ones that worked on it. Then you need Central Pacific that started in Sacramento and the Chinese worked on it. Number 16, you could have Sitting Bull or Crazy Horse or Red Cloud. I guess you could have put uh, Little Crow uh -huh. if you wanted to. All right, some of the other Minnesota history. Number 17 is a Vaquero. Number 18 is the Homestead Act. Number 19 is an Exoduster. What? What's that? It's an Exoduster. And number 20 is the Dawes Act, or Dawes General Allotment Act. Oh, yeah, I got that. I, got, I only got two wrongs. Number 19 is the person? No. I only got two wrongs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 35? If your name's not on it, take off the point. We'll call it 36. Wait, so um, if you got number nine wrong on this side, it doesn't matter, so like you don't like have to count that. So like if I got the bonus, then I'd only get eight wrong. Thirty-six, because your name has to be on it. If you don't have your name on it, take off the point. Yeah, you have to have the date on it. So thirty-six minus nine. I never do the date. Yeah. It is. It is uh, uh, four, uh, uh, three, I got 35. Three. Wait, what was the bonus? Oh, 36. Yes. I'm a failure. It's 36. <laughs> I'm a bonus. Yes. Okay. Well, then I have 28 with the bonus. No, no, no. The bonus is part of the 38. Oh. 36 minus 3. Okay. Any questions? Ryder? Bella? Avery? Lily? Ben? Allison? Lucy? Grayson? Gianna. Is number 14 counted as a bonus? Yeah, because you said that was a bonus. Yeah. And I got 37. Andrew. Three. Mikey. Clara. Christian, Emily, Greta, uh, 35. Okay, has everybody got the right answers on it? Uh, yeah. I want to go through this be before we do our quickest hand review. I don't know if we're going to have much time, but I want to go through this last part so you understand in case it happens to be an essay, hand hand. 
Oh boy. It's Wait, when's the test? Test is next social Wait, studies time, which is what? Monday. 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 How do you go? So on your plan to write it down, but in fact write it down on Friday. Okay. Study for the social studies test over the weekend. Okay. How long is So let's talk about these real quick. One, this guy's invention, the windmill. How did that help conquer the Great Plains? When my kids were little, we used to play the zap game. I think I told you that, right? Yeah. To where every time you saw a windmill, you'd zap them. That was before windmills today are used for what? Energy. Energy, but that's not what windmills were invented for. They were invented for what? Water. Pumping water from under the ground. So people went over this Great Plains area, okay? We talked about the Oregon Trail. Remember, they went over it because they thought it was what? They didn't settle here originally, why? They thought it was a desert. Because it didn't have any what? Water. Didn't have much surface water, and it didn't have any trees. But it has a lot of water. Like I, I think I told you when, when my kids were growing up. When I was growing up in Nebraska, my parents never yelled at you. Take too long a shower. I yelled at my daughters all the time up here. You're taking too long a shower. <laughs> you know why? Because I have to pay for my water in here. You pay according to how much you use. In Nebraska, they don't. There's this one set fee. Now, why would the land of 10,000 lakes charge for their water in Nebraska? They don't. Because one of the hugest underground water areas, which are called what? Um, Aquifers. That's underground water. It is right here though. This covers this big area in here. But all that water's underground, you gotta what? Pump it out. You gotta pump it out. And that's what the windmill was used for. The wind turned the pump, which pumped the water up. So you could put a windmill out in the pasture and your cattle could what? They'd have water. Barb, why are we talking about already? That, again, that was used to do what? Keep, 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 things out. keep cattle out. Okay? Today we use it to what? Things in. Keep cattle in. But originally it was the farmers put it around their, their crops so that cattle wouldn't get through it. The railroad. How did it conquer the what? Where one, it united us, but that's what that one question is. What? was the birth of the cattle industry and the death of the cattle industry. That answer was the railroad because it was the birth of the railroad of the cattle industry. Why? Because they could bring the cattle over there. Because if they could get the cattle to the railroad stations, they made lots of money. Why did it cause the death of the cattle industry? Because remember, when they were building all this, what did they get? Land. They got land that they didn't need. So what did they do? They didn't give it away. They sold it. They sold it to who? Uh, farmers. Farmers. What did the farmers do when they got the land? They lived on it for five years. Set it, set up fences. 
and set up fences so the cattle industry could not continue to do that. That's why railroads both the burst. Colt's invention, the six shooter, six shooter, and the repeating rifle that helped conquer the plains and give people a healthy respect for the law. Although, if you think, I asked this question, how many people died in Dodge City in 1860, in 1875? And I asked this question all the, all the time. We don't have time to do this little activity, but if I did, most students think it's a much higher number. There's only about, there were only about three murders that whole year in Dodge City. Why do we think it's such a high number? Well, you guys probably don't because you don't watch any of these movies like you should be watching. Because, because of the law enforcement? Because of movies today depict depict people being killed all the time, saying, you look at me wrong, I'm a, let's go out in the street and what? Let's, let's have a gunfight, okay? Too many people have too much respect for this. And the murders that did happen were long, long uh, feuds between people, and oftentimes it wasn't two people facing each other out on the street, it was somebody getting shot in the back, okay? And then all this farm machinery, help conquer the Great Plains. The steel plow, again, allowed them to produce a lot more crops. Mining brought people out here. And these acts, which did what? Uh, Grant did 160 acres. 160 acres, and this was, I think, 80 acres more. If you did what? Planted trees. Planted trees. Uh, we could put probably, uh, we could put a number eight down here, too. We could put the Dawes Act. Again, it's a bad, a bad part of our history again. I think we talked about it last year. Did we in sixth grade? I can't remember how far we got because of the... But what the Dawes Act did, basically Native Americans, again, we talked about what's their view of land. It's everybody. What the Dawes Act did is it gave each Native American in a tribe a certain amount of land. It broke up all the reservations into squares of land and each member of the tribe got a part of the land. Now again, if your culture has no value of land, then that's they're not gonna they're gonna squander it. That's what they did. If you go to reservations today, a lot of the reservations in our country are farmed by people that aren't Native Americans. Because what did the Native Americans do? They sold it. Because their value wasn't, they assumed again in their culture what? Land is everybody's, so let, let this guy have it and then I'll get some money. He didn't realize, oh, if you let, you're also doing what? You're cutting yourself off from that land. So the Dawes Act basically tried, this also uh, hurt tribes. Again, it was a way to break up Indian culture, Native American culture. Okay? Does that make sense, everybody? Mm -hmm. Any questions about this? Okay, we're just going to do quick as hand. Ready? No indicators. No indicators. Oh, I got a worksheet here from Ryder and Mikey. I got a test correction and Lily. I got test correction. What are the two animals the Plains Indians depend on? Yes. What? What were the people that would hang people on the drop of a dime? Vigilantes. Vigilantes. What was the machine that would harvest your grain? The reaper. Yes. What did both harvested and combine? Yes. 
what would you do before you went on the long drive? We just did a quiz today. Brand your cattle. You'd brand your cattle. Oh. Every spring, you get your cattle together. What's that called? Branding. Well, the ceremony is brown up, but when you get your cattle, it's called something. A roundup. A roundup. Oh, and then you'd have a branding. Okay. Um, a government grant of money. I didn't see who I was looking down here, so I have to snap. Fiona. Uh, what? Sid City or something like that. I can't accept that. Who was next? Put your hands down. Can I get next? Subsidy. Yes. Subsidy. Where was the Comstock load? Right yourself. 